Hey, good evening, viewers and listeners all. It's been a while since I've been here. This is, what, part four of streaming Caligula? As you may know, I got super, super sick just over a month ago. And I tried to push through it after, like, a couple weeks. And uh, I did a little bit of streaming. I picked Caligula back up. But after those days, I realized I was really pushing it. I wasn't exactly healthy, so I've taken the last few weeks off. Uh, been busy with some other stuff, and then obviously E3 came up, and that's pretty much been my last five days. But that's more or less over now, so I'm going to try to stream some games, and I'm going to start doing them late at night because it's summer, and I don't got a whole lot going on. Nothing's eating up too much of my schedule. So I'm going to play a little bit of games at late night, and that includes Caligula. I'm going to be picking this up and going to try to finish it been listening to the soundtrack a lot as you can obviously tell also gonna look to finish ds3 shine skate and get back to making p5 videos uh i'm gonna be really careful with that because the atlas police are real i have seen confirmation that it does in fact exist so i don't want to go too fast through that game now i'm gonna try to slow it down. I've already slowed it down to a halt, but even when I pick it back up, I'm going to go pretty slow. I don't want to reach those in-game hours too quickly while the police are still out there enforcing the law. Alright, Caligula, calm yourself down. Turn you off soundtrack, and uh, I go into the game audio and pick it up. There we are. Hopefully my levels are fine. Don't want anything to be too loud. I think I left it on the same settings the last time that I streamed, which seemed to be pretty good. Bitch, don't you mock the Caligula soundtrack, you know it's game of the year. It's sad, the soundtrack actually is really good when you listen to it by itself. And unfortunately, the way the game handles it kind of ruins it. <laughs> the P5 police doesn't exist. Tell that to the three strikes I got yesterday. That's right, I got hit. Some late game stuff came down off my channel. Now luckily YouTube has become much more uh, creator friendly when it comes to copyright stuff over the last couple of years. Remember two years ago I got hit by my first ever YouTube strike. And that was like a six month you're in jail. Uh... They take away like they used to take away tons of features like you can't post anything longer than 10 minutes. You can't use custom thumbnails. You can't stream blah, 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 blah. Now they give you like a warning. It's more like a slap on the wrist like, hey, don't do this again or else then we'll really get you in trouble. But basically, I'm like in a probation period for the next three months. But all my features are still there and that's what's really important. So I'm going to chill it out and not do anything. So, this is not where we left off the last stream. This is the second dungeon. I came here because I considered grinding a little bit and getting even more huge, but I didn't really do that. So, let's warp. Uh, no, I can't go to the new place yet because I haven't actually been there yet. So, the last place we were at was the city library. That was the what, third dungeon where we fought Shonen Doll. So I did poke my head back in there after I cleared it, and there was really nothing else there, unlike the first two dungeons, which had, like, massive side areas that didn't make any sense. Like, the school and uh, this place, the mall or whatever, they had, like, optional areas where enemies were really, really strong, and you could get, like, secret items and stuff. But the, uh, the library didn't have that. It had, like, three empty rooms, but all the enemies there were super weak. I didn't get it. Don't know what's up with that. Clearly, this game was finished. Alright, so let's get out of here. This is the front of the school. We can do this here. We have all of our party members ready to do character episodes, which I left off and neglected to do. So let's start actually picking these up. So, time for a bunch of Japanese voice acting and text smashing. <laughs> それはまた今度でいいかな。今日は絶対飲まないといけないのあるから。そうなの？
Yeah, I'm actually kind of super bitter about the Atlas stuff right now. I'm kind of like in the mood of like, well, fine, I guess I won't buy Radiant Historia. I guess I won't buy Deep Strange Journey. God, I don't like this Morita girl at all. What is this American shit? You have to take a picture before you drink it? Yes, put that shit on your Snapchat. She's also going to blog about it on her Tumblr. Arya is a vocaloid, just like the main antagonist, if Mew is an antagonist. But the explanation on why she's all tiny is because Mew has all the power and Arya has almost none of it, so she's chibi for some reason. It was warm before, what the fuck? Yay. These character episodes are not very interesting so far. I'm hoping some of the better characters, like, improve late, but I don't know. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. Let's try, uh, Kinsuke. If I can talk to him and not clip through his body. There we go. I've come to like Kinsuke a little bit. He's okay. Is he just beating up kids? What the hell? He trains by himself with his big ass berserk sword. デジヘッドかしちゃってる人がいたら正気に戻してあげようと思ってそれって罪滅ぼしのつもりこんなんで罪滅ぼしになるかどうかわかんないけどとりあえず何かしたくて Zero has figured out the trick that the only true way to play Caligula is to play it high. あんなこと言われて知らんぷりしてたらそれこそ寝覚め悪いですしまあ言われる前にやるべきだったんでしょうけどでも一人じゃ危ないってはせめて二株乗っ誰かと協力してうんみんなに迷惑はかけたくないし
Do it with me, Kensuke. Is it me or is some of the translation wording like way more excessive than the actual sentences? A rank 3. Also, I'm noticing that the very few people who have bought this game clearly are not getting close to finishing it. I can tell by the trophy numbers. They are not high in terms of percentages. Great, another person we're gonna follow. His model's still there, though. Yeah, these are kind of social links. These are character episodes. I don't know what they actually do. I think I did read somewhere that they kind of affect battle, maybe just slightly. But they really just seem like filler content. Like, want to get to know these characters? Here you go. Oh, that's right. He has to pay off for that phone he broke. He probably just said that. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I just realized what uh, like stereotype Shogo fits into. He's the uh, he's the Akihiko Sonata uh, character arc. Retail's a bitch. And before I forget, because this happened last stream, but I think I hopefully fixed it today because I power cycled my modem and my router. But I have been having like online troubles where every few hours it'll just go out for like, I don't know, five minutes. When that happened during the last stream, it was really fucking annoying. So if suddenly the stream cuts out, that's why. And I'll try to get it back up as soon as possible. The hell was that? Hey, Why did that need, like, a fade to black for him to walk over there? Oh, 
ったらすげえな。えらいじゃん。まあいいや、そんなこと。これお前からスズナに返してくれ。Oh, それスズナなのなんで気持ちびっちょがスズナのお弁当箱持ってんのよ。昨日の昼休み、スズナが女子便所から出てくるとこ見かけたんだけどさ。声かけたらすげえ驚いて、弁当箱を落としてそのまま走ってっちまったんだよ。なんかこそこそしてたし、タイミング悪い時に声かけたのかと思ってさ。ほら、なんだその、女子っていろいろあるんだろな、とにかく頼むわ。What? じゃあ、預けたからな。What the fuck is this? Is the beginning of the OTP ship? I imagine I don't have to do that manually. Oh, wait. That's right. It was. That was. What the. What? That doesn't make any sense. We never even spoke to her. Oh, this game's weird. Oh, Kitana. Bucho Kako Kari. Oh my god, it's his Twitter profile! What the fuck is this? He's gonna be like, look, I got 15 fucking followers. What's <laughs> どんなトラブルでもオールオーケー。24時間ダイレクトメッセージ受付中。Oh my god, this just became the best character arc. <笑>このゴシッパーってのみんな見てんだろ。だから俺もカメコに教わってアカウント作ったんだよ。これで困ってるやつを募集して、俺がカレーに問題を解決してやんよ。トラブルシャッターだぜ。お前ら本当何にも知らねえのなトラブルシャッターってのはな困ってるやつのとこに駆けつけて問題解決すんだよどうだ勉強になったのどこから突っ込めばいいんよあんねこれ綴り間違ってるレスキューマンでしょ You spelled it with an L! Game of the year. I really love the detail that his DMs are open. <laughs> Okay, Kotaro has been sold to me now. That was literally the best thing that's ever happened in this game. Matatagami got to know. Kondawa, Kyo, it's not square no nakani, I did a 
No, never mind us clipping through each other. Don't worry about that. A bail isn't fun without a ball isn't fun without Cinderella from your prince. What would the ball be? No, I'm not using a guide. I don't even know if one exists. I'd be surprised if one does. Singles parties. I partied hard was not a phrase I was expecting to read in this game. <laughs> Jesus, calm down, hero. Oh yeah, we're in. Mifue, my favorite fat girl lover. I mean hater. Or lover. Bitch, don't walk away from me. Is she gonna go look at food again? Come on, Caligula, you can do it. You can load all them datas. <laughs> this is the most uncomfortable character arc ever. Okay. Uh, 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 neither of these are very favorable. Look at them flat pizza textures. I'm scared. Oh, 
Just eat the pizza, woman. I swear to God, if it immediately goes to a rank up. Confirmed that this is what Furyu thinks fat people are like. Besides, you're in a virtual world. It doesn't matter whether or not you gorge yourself in here. You're probably super skinny. You've been in here for like two years anyway. Uh, who next? Oh, we made the full circuit. Back to Morita. ゴシッパーにアップしてんじゃねえよ。なあ、あの写真結構リゴシップされてたんだよね。いやあ、助かったよ。あれで結構フォロワー増えちゃった。けせ、今すぐけせ。ええ、やだよ。後ろ姿し
<laughs> she has his nudes. Oh man, this game got super good in the last 30 minutes. Alright. I'm saving Kotaro for last. That last one was so good. Good old toilet sandwich. <laughs> oh, why did this game get so good all of a sudden? Oh god, this is amazing. <laughs> That seems more compassionate. Well, I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> Wow, what a third wheel. Oh great, we're gonna get another one of those immediately. Since one of my owner. He should have called him like Lescue Man. 
It should have kept the typo. I get that the other guy's talking, but they should have really taken off uh, Kotaro's portrait pic when they did that. あいつ最近は学校サボって見えのライブ行ったり追っかけしたりしてるみたいなんだよねまあここじゃそんなやつゴロゴロしてるけどなでもそのせいで彼女とも喧嘩してるみたいだしここ数日は学校へも全然来て
this? It is. It's super unclear where you're supposed to actually walk. So this is the dungeon I've been looking forward to all game, because it has my favorite song. こういうとこ来たの初めてだよ。さっきのアトラクション見たか乗ってみて。水族館ショッピングモールにホテル。複合型遊園地ってやつか。時間があれば順番に回って、のんびり遊んでいきたいですけど、今はそれどころじゃない
the bio described that celebrity as perhaps having passed away recently. So, like, is he alive or dead in the real world? It's not exactly clear. I'm sure they explain that somewhere in the game, but hey, they put it on the site, so whatever. So his thing is obviously that if he is that celebrity, that he's probably lived like some sort of like coddled life. So he doesn't like the fact that even in here, he has to rely on everyone. Yeah, he's weird. Maybe he's not alive. They did touch on that a little bit. About what would happen to people if they died in the real world while in here, and whether or not they die in here as well. This better be cool. Is it a fucking sword? It's a goddamn sword. <laughs> you better not become an antagonist. That's like the JRPG trope that the guy who has like the coolest costume ends up being evil. All of Izuru's skills feature conditions that, when met, allow him to use them without consuming SP and keep momentum. That sounds too good. Meeting all the conditions at once is difficult, but wrist break triggers each skill, so use Mifoy to maximize synergy. So she's good on the party with him? Here we go. Now we got the new song playing. This thing's at, what, level 18? That's not very strong. Let's see what level he starts at, because I'm super overleveled. Remember, this is huge quest. He starts at level 18 as well. So he's got Razor Blizzard, Moonbeam, Spectral Thunder. What do these do? Basic attack, basic attack. That's a launch, that's a down follow-up. なしの戦いだ。なるほど。これが戦うための力。イズルの心を勝ち取った。イズルだけの武器だよ。僕の心無事みたいだな。皆沢君もカタルシス Against my better judgment, I'm going to put him on my party and dump experience into him, hoping that it doesn't backfire later. I'm going to guess it's a hairband. Did, 
Jusuke. The hell is that? Shitagoga. Well, he's dead. Look at her hair just fucking clip through her goddamn jacket. That dude on the left looks exactly the same. あの男に見覚えがあるんでしょ。ああ、終わった。こんだけ綺麗でいないわけないじゃんか。さ、それですよね。ブスにはヒンソーな男がお似合いよね。さあ、膝まずきなさい。泣いて命乞いするといいわ。大事な彼氏が魚の餌になるの
から彼氏じゃないって言ってるでしょ冗談じゃないわなんで私があんなやつを助けるためにそんなことしなくちゃいけないのよそそれはそうだけどもう仕方ないわね I know we won't lose because I'm huge. What do we do? The rule is to explain the rule. It's a bit slow. 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 Distributing tickets to the attendees in the aquarium. A ballot box in the lobby will collect the tickets to determine whether Lady Mire or you, Miss Kotono, are more beautiful. Three attendees in particular are curators with a sharp sense of aesthetic beauty. The curator's vote counts tenfold in the final poll. Convincing the curators of your aesthetic superiority will be the key to victory. Speak with me after consulting all three of them, and I will release the poll results. Now, in a moment, I will signal the beginning of the polls to the aquarium at large. Is this actually going to be like not me running around and fighting things? Is this going to be like a puzzle dungeon or something? Okay, Kinsuke, calm down. So, yeah, no, Mitamanara, you notice that she's like getting those mean Caligula eyes in her character portraits? Find the three curators and have them put in their votes. Three in-house curators are lurking somewhere in the map. Find them and win them over to gain their votes. Getting all three to like you is ideal, but even if they reject you, you can make up the difference by handing out tickets. This is an actual system. Okay. By approaching students who are standing around, you'll be able to hand them voting tickets. Students standing around and resting anywhere in the building can be spoken to and given voting tickets. Hand out as many as you can to gain the upper hand against Murray. Okay. Let me actually back out first. Ah, crap. Can I not change my party now? Unless I can do it in here, which I doubt. Oh, he joined the party automatically. That's fine. But I'm going to have to edit my stigmas. Now that I have a new party member. Uh, let's get rid of the hero stuff. Just remove everything. Let's see, equipment... It's going to take a minute or two. And finally, I need to go to my sub members and get the stuff that's on Mifue. Okay, so these should be all my best ones now. So let's go through the process of putting new stuff on the hero. See, I've got some new ones. And if I go select, I can sort by rarity. This system really sucks because it's hard to tell like what's really good and what's not. So the best way I found to do it is to just sort by rarity. 
and that will hopefully put your quote unquote best stuff because the whole equipment system is really weird. That and I'm at such a high level that it shouldn't matter too much, but you know, just to be safe. Actually, I think that sorts automatically. Let me try again. Yeah, it's fine. No strategy here. And somewhere, like, I read a description of, like, what the three things are supposed to represent. Because they're called Manifesto Core Belief and Traumatic Memory. It's like, one is, like, your weapon upgrades. And other you can think of as armor. The other you can think of as accessories. And it's like, why not just make those things then, then instead of creating this really confusing system? I'll get a good look at Izuru's stuff. I rotate him? Yeah, cool. Yeah, he came with some stuff already on him, so let's unequip that. I bet it's not that great. All the default stuff never is. So, we'll go back to rarity. There we go. Can I save here? I doubt it. Whoops, not options. No, I can't. That sucks they don't want you to go out to the lobby to save. Unless there's a save point nearby. Oh, and someone has a health regen on them. Just ignore that. Okay, so find students to talk to. Like, it's not going to work because they're locked, is it? Oh, no, it does. Cool. So the recruitment system does not play a factor here. Can I go through? I guess I can, actually. Or does it just take me to a different part of the dungeon? It takes a minute to load. Come on, Caligula. Oh, this place is all purplish. Right, I got a run button. This area is full of enemies. Interesting. Is this other guy gonna walk into my fight? Maybe. Enemy's still not too strong in this area, though there is one glowing one. Devout fan. Okay, so this is one of the ones we have to win over, maybe? Or is this just a regular, like, tough enemy? Because I would figure that they would hide the uh, really helpful voters in areas like this, but I could be wrong. Yeah, this is my favorite song in the game. Problem is we're going to have to hear it for the next two and a half hours. Not quite one turn. There we go. Okay, interesting. So Izuru's stuff is that uh, you can do some really cool things if you get risk breaks. Okay, that's where I came from. Wait, let me talk to you. Nope. Okay, so the only students that'll take a ticket are those that are standing still. All right. 
right. Okay, that's an item that's locked. I may or may not be able to get that. Oh, that was really close. Level 46. Fuck that noise. Still doing that dirty trick where they just shove really strong enemies for no reason. Thank god, a save point. And that's a staircase in front of it? Okay. Save my Vigit game. Go back up to the first slot. Let's keep exploring. Actually, let me do that. You can open up your mini-map and basically rely on it to go wherever you want to go. That's a pretty strong enemy. That's about on par with my level. In fact, I think I am level 29. But levels are deceptive in this game because like a level 29 enemy is still like really super strong. Stronger than me, really. Because the concept is that you're weaker than all the enemies. Like they have way more health because they anticipate you to be on like four on one fights. Which is why if you ever find yourself in a situation where it's not a, a one on one fight, or excuse me, like four on one, if you're fighting like two enemies or even three enemies at once, you're like super screwed. Okay, so there is a checkpoint in here. I just have to go back entirely where I came from if I can figure out where that is in the dark. At least I know I didn't come over here for nothing. This isn't like an optional part of the dungeon. Which happens, has happened anyway. Level 18, no big deal. Uh, that's progress over there, so what's over here? Uh, is this one of those word doors? Yeah. I still know how that even works. There's supposed to be some kind of like online play, but fuck if it's ever worked. They thought their game was going to be like a lot more popular than it actually is. Okay, so maybe this is progress. That's an item. What would be sealing that? Is there a strong enemy around here? I don't think so. Alright, let's go back down there. Could you be the item? Are you the one locking it? Ah, I got the wrong one. Oh well. One thing about the soundtrack, because this song is pretty decent, is that the uh, the soundtrack actually gets like heavier as you go through the game? Like the songs kind of start off very light J pop ish, and then they get like more like J rock and J metal ish later in the game. Can't see it, but we're kicking his ass. Let's see, only 90 experience from that. Although that's before multipliers. Okay, calm down. Mm, yeah, I'm considering putting uh, Mifoy back on my team when I get the chance. All of her attacks uh, increase risk breaks depending on like how accurate they are. And when you're over leveled, everything's super accurate, so. Maybe I should put her back on. Although I don't know who I'd take off. Oh, 
These are the moments where it's like, you know, is the stream like all fucked up? Is the frame rate of the stream really jank? No, this is just how this stupid game plays at like 10 frames per second. Okay, where the hell am I? Uh, that may or may not have locked, unlocked that thing. I don't really care at this point. Okay, so I take it you're one of the important people that's going to influence the vote. That's fine. I would expect that these scenes would come with fights. So, hopefully I'm not wrong. If you're after my vote, you'll have to prove yourself by getting more of the others here to pledge for you. Oh, fuck off! So, I have to talk to more people? Now I wish I was using a guide for this game. Not that one exists, to my knowledge, anyway. Like, uh, you. Will you take a thing? No, you won't. So maybe I should go back to that lobby? Well, at least I mapped out this floor. Okay, let's talk to some people. See, we got all kinds of people around here. I don't remember who I gave my stuff to. Alright, one for you. One for you. Okay, so that's like the true entrance right there. I take it that's where I came from, right? Okay, I already gave it to them. This is one of those world wonder things? Yeah. Alright, let's try over here. It's gotta be a student that's standing still, I think. So I guess I got them all in this room? Try over here. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I would not expect there to be a guide for this game ever. I thought the game crashed for a second. I like hit the talk button and it just stood there. Yes, take my ticket. You, you're standing still? What? She doesn't count for some reason. How about you? Or maybe you have to give out so many? I don't know. No, I'm not writing a guide to Caligula. And no one would ever ask me questions anyway, because no one else in the world is playing this. Whoops. Ah, you're gonna survive the turn, huh? Wow, he actually got hits in on the hero. Yeah, that's another thing about this game is you have like no defense 
or what I should say is like when you get hit you really get hit like everything takes off a ton of health but it's the inverse as well I guess you also do a lot of damage so fights usually don't last very long only rarely a lot of the time it's just like one side is much more powerful is gonna and is gonna kill the other side really quickly all right you two Still tickets to give out. Okay. I guess you can tell by the conversation they're having. What about you? No. Probably not gonna work. Nope. These two look promising. You're decently strong. You gonna let me walk by? Yeah, I'm stronger than you. Let's see what you're protecting. I don't know how good that is. It's incredibly unclear. I'll find out the next time I'm equipping stuff. Which is usually like once uh, once every sitting. Okay, so this has a save point by it. Got lots of people. Not you. How about you two? Alright, you're gonna try to fight me if I get closer. What about you, lonely guy? No. I talked to you too, right? No, I didn't. Cool. Save. So now we're to. Uh, I'm gonna guess down. This is probably. Oh, this is tough. Yeah, they're probably adding some uh, items over there. Stay away from that. Oh, hello. No, not Izuru. Although this is going to increase my affinity. I'll worry about all that stuff off camera. I'll raise the uh, party member affinity so that I can do more character episodes. Pick that thing up. It's an Emperor Penguin. Yay. I got three things. I'll have to start spending those on uh, Izuru's skills so I can get more attacks with him. Talk to me. Oh, we got a stairway over there? Okay. Another wonder. Cell phone strap. Let's go check out that corner I missed. Oh, I can see an item in that far one. Mm, you're pretty strong. I'll leave you alone. I doubt whatever's in there is worth it. So, how many curators are there? I believe three. We found one. I hope it's not one of those things where it's like you have to talk to them in order. I hope it's more like, you know, they're all three in locations and you can talk to them whenever. 
Nope. Yeah, I think it is. We have another uh, little destination on the map. How strong are you? Not at all. Just run over here and steal this. Oh, there are actually other people on the side, so that's a place I can go to later. Is anyone standing still? What about you? Oh. There's you. Nope. Okay, enemies, enemies. Try over here. This area is more interesting to look at, at least. Look, mana rays. They actually took the time to put that in there. They made it and they put a million of them in this area. See, this should take me up to that place I saw. Got a strong enemy. You're not that strong. Okay, that takes me to another zone. We know that now. place is pretty empty for such a large area. I'm not finding a lot of uh, blue dots on the map, not a lot of friendly students. If you're wondering why no one's fighting me, it's because of my level. I'm at like level 29 on the hero. A lot of these are upper teens, so they just don't even look at me. But we have a strong one. What are you? Level 40, run away. So that's just an item closet. No big deal. Although some enemies will try to fight you no matter what. Usually they're the ones with like the really big red dots. The ones that are called like devout fans or whatever. If you get close enough to them it'll always engage in the fight. Even if you're way over leveled compared to them. I assume this is just going to loop around, but just to be sure, fill out the map. See, like, that one right there will probably try to fight me. There we go. I'll use my strongest attack this time. Oh yeah, I can't wait to see what uh, Izuru's ultimate's going to be. They've all been pretty cool so far. No, 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 not that. This is the basic one, right? Yeah, our damage output isn't quite as high with, uh, without Mifoy. Then again, I am picking, like, basic attacks with the hero. So I could kick it up a little bit. One thing you'll notice is that when I win battles, uh, the game does account for like experience uh, differences between your party members. So if someone's lower than the rest of the party or the hero, they will automatically gain a lot more experience. And that's what's happening with Izuru. So if I fight a lot, he will catch up quickly. And eventually it more or less evens out. But it does take time. I wish that uh, your non-active party members would gain passive experience, but they don't. So instead, they just give them extra experience when they do join the fight. Okay, maybe this is a fetish dungeon. Okay, this is getting weird.
Well, the song is called Sadistic Queen. I guess we're kind of finding out why. What's our plan? Uh, Slay Queen. You really think that? Yeah, I think it will. Oh, here we go. You like women insulting you, creep? <laughs> Just do as I say and vote. Oh, come on. Uh, ignore him? Fuck. Well, I messed up. The question is, what happens if I don't win the vote? Because generally my solution to everything in this game is just to be huge and kick everything's ass. Really? Can I not try again? Well, oh, I could just fucking save scum it, right? Yeah, let's save scum. Uh... Do I have to go- Oh, that's right, this game is super, like, not tuned for safes coming. Uh, do I have to... Can I go back to the title screen? Whoops. Data... Oh, I can! Sweet. Just load. Well, I didn't think to ask him nicely. I was like, isn't that the opposite of what he wanted? I figured giving him the silent treatment would, like, get his rocks off. And then he'd vote. So I'll do the same and then the opposite. Or maybe I should be nice to him? I don't know. We'll figure it out eventually. Wait, did the game just like account for me safe scumming? No, it just hadn't loaded him in yet. Why is there a shiny thing on the fucking couch? He is the shiny thing. Okay, let's try this again. Oops, that's the wrong button. Actually, I didn't know you could do that. You can get rid of the text and just have character portraits. Cool. Uh... Okay, so last time it got rid of the first choice and then it left these two, so maybe it is just asked nicely. You disgust me. Oh my god. This better work. Yeah, alright. We did it. We helped some creepy sex pervert. Alright. What the hell was over here? Did I like get scared off by an enemy and forget it? No. I just didn't go over here. Oh, is it gonna loop around? No, it's not. There's going to be a barrier, but I get this item for free. That safe scum was super justified. 
They even put a save point right in front of him so that you can be encouraged to save scum. What's interesting is that this area keeps going. Like, I'm gonna end up in a different part, even though I just found one of the guys. Meanwhile, there's that one that's in the dark area by himself. Don't know what that's about. Step up these attacks. One, two, and yeah, you can chain your attacks, so all your party members can do up to three attacks per turn. But it also depends on. Goddamn on how much uh, SP they each consume. And luckily your SP does regenerate after fights, so it's not like you have a set amount of SP for the dungeon. But sometimes, depending on how much you used in the last fight, you will start out with max SP on the next one. Or less than it if you ended up spending a lot. I didn't read what that just said. Something about fresh water. So I guess this is freshwater aquatic life. Another save. The game ever loads up the menu. It's really taxing right now. It's trying to load in the entire area while I'm trying to save the game. There it goes. Oh god, this game is such a piece of shit. I'm actually a little impressed that in almost 25 hours of playing it that it's never crashed. It feels like it's trying to all the time. Alright, okay, so this area immediately has an exit by the door. Like, you can see that the uh, the hero at the bottom right does not have max SP at the start of this fight. That I uh, used so much in the last one. So let's try uh, Kotono's strongest attack. And when you uh, use an ultimate during a risk break, you get these super strong attacks like that. It's a convoluted system. I would actually like it if the camera didn't just go completely nuts during fights. Like, I wish this game did not have the battle system it does to where it just loads battles automatically onto the screen. Into, like, the same area that you walk around. Like, you can move the camera around and whatnot, you can make it go anywhere and do crazy, stupid bullshit. And I hate that. I wish they would've just... Like, I get why they wanted to do it, I'm sure they thought it would be really cool. Like, uh, it doesn't even load your fight-ins, they just happen automatically on the map. Like, okay. But it looks really bad. I wish you would've just, you know, made it, like, load into a battle arena. You did not have the tech for what you were trying to accomplish. A lot of roaming students. And a different exit, okay. A lot going around in this area. Oh, another devout fan. Oh, back up, back up. How strong are you? 41, fuck that. So we got three stairways. 
maybe they all lead to the same place. You would think they they would, given the geography, but who knows. Four stairways, so they better all lead to the same place. Alright, let me go back and fill out that corner. And I'll try to get this last one over here without attracting unwanted attention. Yeah, there we go. Alright, what's this? Headphones. And this loops back to the beginning. Interesting. So... Is it gonna load into a new area when I go down those stairs or not? that's where the exclamation point is so and there doesn't appear to be any other way to reach it other than by going down some stairs let me fill out this little corner right there I'm gonna save at this save point and then progress we'll try these stairs because they have a save point next to them Jellyfish world. Uh, well, it's not the same area. Oh, you're strong. You're really strong. For no reason. And I take it she's probably protecting that. This almost feels like it would be the end of the dungeon. Whoa, 54. Get the fuck out of here. Don't think I'm supposed to be over there. That feels super optional. That's like the come back later at the end of the game if you want to see what's over here. Okay, those staircases obviously do not lead to the same location. Unless it is the same location, it's like different parts of it. Uh, I'm going to go to the one that's on the left side of the map. Since that's closest to the entrance. It is the same location, but it's going to take me to like a different room, I guess? There's no way they can expect you to beat those super high level enemies. It would take like a million years of grinding for me to even get anywhere close to beating that. See? So it is the same floor, just different parts of it. What are you? How strong are you? You're still pretty damn strong. You're at a higher level than I am. And so are you. Oh my god. Is this area just like super optional? What about you? Yeah, they're all really strong. This is probably optional. I might have to go back to the very uh, beginning of the dungeon. Because we know where one of the other curators is. And I think there is a path at the beginning of the dungeon that I hadn't explored. So the third one might be down that path. Either way, I'm going to try to fill out all this stuff and figure out what's over here. There like a, there's not like a walkway I'm missing. It must be you go down.
downstairs and then come back up in order to reach that other checkpoint? Because there's definitely not like a hallway that I haven't walked down to on that other floor. Okay, there's a save point over here. That's good. Makes me feel like this is more or less intended. I'll carefully walk around. Nothing too strong yet. Ah, see, there it is. That must be it. all this out yeah I guess it's like oh you went down the wrong one and I guess if you're rushing through it and you're not paying attention to uh, what's in front of you those like level 30 enemies could just easily fuck you up save here. Hopefully this guy will talk to me. And I'll save scum if I need to. Oops. Alright, Yori, talk to me. Quite pretty. There's no questioning that. Did he just like collapse? What the fuck? Oh my god, he wants her to walk on him. What is this game? Oh my. So far, Caligula has... Oh, God. Caligula has gone, like, on a pattern of first dungeon, stupid and shitty and cliche. Second dungeon, incredibly weird and interesting. Third dungeon, shitty and cliche. Fourth dungeon, incredibly interesting and weird. Uh... I don't know what to tell her to do here. So last time... The guy was like, insult me, and then I told her to do it and it didn't work out, so I guess keep going opposite? Squish, squish. Yeah! All of that sounded really creepy. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We helped out another creepy sex guy. This is almost like Yakuza-esque of just like, things have gotten really absurd all of a sudden. You know what? I'll give it to you Caligula. For all your shitty flaws, you're making it up by being super weird. I'm gonna go back downstairs and then upstairs and clear off the one path I didn't go down. Just, uh, I'm sure it's like the other three where it's got like tough enemies carding stuff, but just to make sure. Oh, we're getting a cutscene.
何か気になることでもあるのかミレーって女が出てきた時からどうにも気になってたんだけどよ何だったっけかな現実にもある施設だから向こうで見聞きした情報ですかねあり得るなナルコお前の携帯で調べらんのか Oh yes, please tell me what Mire is like in the real world シーパライスを調べればいいのちょっと待ってね The second dungeon boss,、uh, Sweet P, who was like this little lolly musician girl, was actually like a super fat, sweaty guy in real life. So, I'm looking forward to this. What if she's just the same? Oh my god, is she like actually super underage? ああ。So, hers is more about status. That's fair enough.、Uh, kind of forgot where I was after that. That actually makes me wonder if、uh, Kotono might have.、Um, Something to do with that because she seems to have like a real grudge against her. Oh, there's a uh, wait, what the fuck? This is not where I what the hell? It totally spat me out into a different location. What the fuck? Am I high? Let's go back. It completely spat me out into a different part of the dungeon. I'm not like crazy. I remember how this worked. Okay, so we came down to. Oh, no, no, wait. There is two different locations. The area. I I'm just blind and didn't notice this. I didn't notice this doorway. Up here is where I came from, and then there's a completely different path that way. And it has a Mew episode as well. We'll go check that out in a second. I want to clear out、uh, the one little area I didn't go to. Interesting. That has to be a dead end on that side, though. Because there's still that one guy in the dark area that wouldn't talk to me earlier. Hopefully, now that we got two guys on my side, he will talk to me now. But I guess I'll find out when I go to him. So, this stairway right here is the one I didn't go down. The frame rate is not great, it's very not good. I would say it's probably the worst thing about the game. That and the camera just being out of control sometimes.、It、sucks. Like, it really feels like they made this game in a year.、And、I don't know what's up with that. Like,、uh, Fear You has a. Like,、uh, a bad reputation for pushing games out the door. And Aquaria, the developer, is not like a renowned studio or anything. They've done、uh, at least one, I think two of the.、Uh, Sword art games. Like, they did the one that actually came out last year, and you could totally tell that they're the same engine and everything. 
but it really feels like had they had more time to make this game, it could have been pretty decent. Uh, you're probably super strong. Yeah. Okay. So, there's like the three shit paths on that floor and the one good one. Part of it might have been like why it was rushed out the door so quick because, you know, I mean, part of it's fear use for you. And I think part of it might just be like, the Vita's dying, get this thing out the door as quickly as you can while people are still interested in the Vita. At least in Japan, because, you know, it's a miracle that this game even got localization. They even got Atlas USA and Sega to agree to do it. I thought for sure, like, that's never coming to the West, but it did. But it also did feel like... Because a lot of people draw comparisons to Persona because it's like doing the high school juvenile RPG thing. And then the whole marketing angle behind the game was uh, Satomi Tadashi, the writer of P1 and P2, was on the team. And at the very least, he supervised some of the story. A lot of people who like don't like this game are like, he probably didn't write it. And I don't know. I feel like there's no proof of that. When the story is interesting, it is really good. So maybe he did, I don't know. But I've gotten that from some people that are just like, fuck Caligula, Ryu's probably lying about Satomi Tadashi, blah, 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 blah. But there's like no evidence to back that up. So I don't know. Unless there's proof of that, I'm not gonna say that that's not the case. You're locked. Which means the thing locking it's probably on this side? I don't know. I think the Vita is going to die off in Japan pretty quickly, actually. Because uh, Mages is already looking into putting visual novels on the Switch. And if that starts happening, then oh boy. I'm fine with that. Like The Switch is better than the Vita in every way just as a hardware piece. So if like a bunch of weird niche Japanese things start moving over to the Switch, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with possibly the the uh, new remastered Steins Gate coming out, Elite, which will probably be on console as well. That'll probably be like on PS4, but if that gets like a Switch release too, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with playing Steins Gate on a, on a nice big handheld screen. Level 66! <laughs> nope. Not walking down that way. Let's see, what are you, level 18, 18... I think... No, I, 66 is not the highest I've seen. I'm pretty sure somewhere I saw, like, level 81. And I was like, <laughs> no. No thank you. Again, I don't get why they do that with some of these enemies where they're just like, come back later. Uh, yeah, it's not like new, new Steins Gate. It's just a remaster of the original. Apparent, like, they didn't even name consoles for it. They just said it's going to happen. It's called Steins Gate Elite. It is uh, a remaster of the first. It. There are going to be some revisions to it, apparently. I don't know what that means. Like, they're going to change some of the story. I don't know if that means that they're going to, like, try to incorporate, like, the spinoffs in Steins Gate Zero better or something. I don't know. Not a lot of details on that. But one visual novel of uh, Mages was confirmed for, uh, for a Switch release. I can't remember what it is. I can't remember what series was announced that it's getting a Switch version. Plus, it's all completely up in the air whether or not any of that ever comes to the West. That's up to, uh, what's the company? P-Cubed? That's how you pronounce their name. They're always the localizer for mages, so hopefully that stuff comes over. There's nothing in this corner, right? Okay. Get out of here. Let's do this Mew episode. Ah, oh, god damn it! Something's chasing me. I 
I have no idea what could be chasing me, though. I haven't seen any enemies around me. Is there anything super strong in this room? No, you guys are total chumps. I can beat you. Alright. Well, this works. Thank you, Anonymous Code. I think the thing that'll seal it for me in terms of like the switch is officially taking Vita market is when it not if but when because I have a feeling it's gonna happen when Sega starts putting uh, Miku on the switch then we'll know that'll be like dead set proof This guy's barely hanging on, come on. Come on, Koto, no, shoot him. Oh, it interrupted his death animation. There we go. Can I t just take all this stuff now? No, it's all super locked. Do I have to beat the other two, maybe? That's not usually how it works. Whoops. No, they probably want me to kill like all the super strong enemies on this floor. Fuck that noise. Alright, let's try that door again, since I don't think I'm being targeted anymore. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, this area is super annoying. Just want to get my optional episode. Oh, God. Fuck this area. Here, I'll pass the time by fighting one of you. Maybe it's not taking. I should look into uh, unlocking Yuzuru's skills after this fight. I have no idea how many skill points I have. Damn, he just barely survived. The rate at which you get skill points is like completely random as well. Outside of uh, getting them via the World Wonders, like how much you, you occasionally get them through fights and it just seems to be super random. So boom, just unlock his ultimate right away. Just get this other stuff. It's eight, probably afford maybe one more. No, okay, that's fine. Fight you as well. Alright, we'll take a look at what Izzer's ultimate sort of looks like, even though it's always hard to tell with this battle system. Alright, Bloom Burst. Pierce your foe with countless sharp petals. Triggers the conditional against enemies and risk break. 
Yeah, that's why they want you to team him up with Mifue really badly. Uh, then we'll do a soul search. Did he get caught on the plant? I think he did. Whatever. Yeah, I think when I play this game off camera, I'll take out Kotano and put in Mifue. Maybe I'll take out Shogo. Okay, so that strong enemy is walking away. I just need it to turn a corner and I can get by it. Don't turn around. Okay, this is super annoying. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh, uh, I get it. It wants me to do it this way. Yeah, now it's far over there. So this should work. Got it. Time for fun time with Mew. <sighs> Remember, these are like echoes of her and not actually her in real time. She can't see you. Oh, that's right. She can interact a little bit. But she's still like a shadow of what she was. She's not like super sentient at the moment. Oh, that was worth it. This entire optional path to get that one scene. I think that's all that's over here. Outside of some items that are hidden. Yeah, there's still this one little area I didn't look at too hard. Yeah, there's just a strong enemy. The top right, I believe, is also locked off by a strong enemy. And now hopefully I won't get spotted by anything. I should be in the clear. I'll take one more peek up at the... Oh, there's a stairway. That's right. So this is not a dead end. I can't imagine what's actually over here, though. Let's give it a look.
Come on, game. Okay, so this connects to a place I've been? This is where I came from. Oh, this is the dark area! Right, 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 right. So, yeah, there's that guy that I couldn't talk to before. Cool, it all loops around. How convenient. I was gonna just, like, warp back to the very beginning of the dungeon and come here. It's still a bit of a trek. Yeah, I remember that stairway. I completely ignored it. Because I figured, like, oh, I'm not supposed to be here yet. Ooh, barely escaped that strong one. Alright, this asshole better talk to me. I guess they really did want you to talk to him last. Though it's interesting that you can find him first. You must understand that a woman's beauty lies in her gaze. Personal theory of mine, a woman's eyes exude the most power when they look down on someone. Oh god, how weird is this one gonna be? What should we do? Oh, uh, look at him kindly. This has been working for us so far. Oh, she does hate someone. So maybe she really does know that guy, the alleged boyfriend. <laughs> well, we win. That was disappointing. This guy should have been first. The other two are a lot better. We finish handing out the ballots. Thank you for not just automatically sending me to that guy. And I actually mean that, because there's still stuff I want to check out. So, this path right here to the left should take me to the entrance. I could have sworn there's like one hallway in here that I didn't go down. Let's check. Okay, so he's the main thing. I came from there. I think I've already been to this one, but let's just double check. Make absolute sure. This should be the path that took me on a big loop last time. Where I went to to find the other two guys. Yeah. Which means the bottom of this big entrance room is the area I have not gone to. I hope this isn't actually the entrance and that I like fucked up the entire time. Oh, it's totally the entrance. I'm such an idiot. I thought what's his face was guarding the entrance. Cool. Uh, I can change my party up here. Hmm. I don't know what I want to do actually. I'm either going to take Shogo out or uh, Kotono. I think I'm going to go with uh, taking Kotono out. So that's not how you do it. Although this is a little helpful. I go to sub menu. There we are. Remove from party. And then uh, let's see where is she? Mifue. Invite to party. And 
if I go to skill real, I need to take, no, not skill real, stigma. I need to swap out their things. So. Whoops. Watchful eye. Actually, is this done by rarity? No, it's not. So, boom, boom. And I think under status, I can change order. I can't fucking remember how you do it. Oh no, no, there it is. Square. Uh, there we go. Change turn order. Then two, three, four. That works. And I can save here anytime I want. I do that every fucking time. I don't know. It's like something about seeing the gear makes me say, "Oh, that's save." Dead ahead, right? Guess what, asshole? I'm ready. Let me guess, it was rigged the entire time. Oh no, it wasn't. We actually won. What does it? やった。イエーイ。ことの先輩、すごいです。当然の結果ですよ。はい、先輩。シャメトルから笑って笑って。勝者の今一番ダメにお伝えしたいですかそれは支えてくれた仲間たちとだっくんってそうな本命のちょっと待ちなさいトシゾーもいつまでも悠長にインタビュー泣かしてるんじゃないわよ。まあ、正直どうでもいいんだけど。私が勝負に勝ったんだから、あいつを水槽から出したらどう？オーダーマリー、トシゾー、そいつらにマ
誰かがへし折らないとダメみたいね誰が一番美しくて偉いかさて始めるか教えてあげるわ Alright, let's see how long this lasts. So the great thing about Mifoy's attacks is that if they hit, they always increase the opponent risk by one. Alright, we'll go with his basic attacks now. She does not pack a lot of punch, but she does have status effects. Okay. All right, let's go soul surge. Perfect. She's at five now. Ah, uh, but I still need SP with him. All right, heroes in a little bit of danger. All right, let's see how good your ultimate actually is. If I can land it. Ah, I think he missed it. Oh well. The hero will land. Hopefully. Where is it? Here we go. The very rarely used Mifue ultimate. There we go, there's the risk break. That's gonna do shit tons of damage. Yeah, the fight's practically over after that. And that was really created by Mifue. Because she just raises risk all the time. Alright, this is gonna end it. There we go. Well, at least this boss fight didn't end in like 30 seconds like the last couple. Oh. <laughs>
おい水槽の水を止めてから逃げろってんだよご安心ください注水はすでに止めておりますあんたかお嬢様の命令は絶対なんじゃないのか<笑>無駄に人死にを出す必要もありませんお嬢様も無事お逃げになられましたのでお嬢様がご迷惑をおかけしました皆様が現実に帰れることを心より祈っておりますよあんたはメビウスの意思とかはどうでもいいのかよええ一ノ瀬家に仕え続けることが私の唯一の望みですからそれがメビウスでも現実でも変わりはありません、so、he's a お嬢様は一ノ瀬家の没落とご自身の現状に耐えきれなかったようですが私にはそんなことは問題ではありませんかわいそうなのかもしれないですねお金がなくなっちゃったせいであんなに性格まで歪んじゃっていえあ性格はもともとあんな感じです<笑>オッケーえあそうなんですかなんというか頑張ってください二度とこんなバカなことしないようにってちゃんと言っとけよな<笑>お伝えはしますが期待に添える結果にはならないでしょうな<笑>どうしようもねえな<笑>いやいや奇遇だね Oh, that's right, this guy had a name. Which is not the name that Kotano said earlier. So, what's up with that? That is some real beef. Funny how that keeps happening. Toshizo Sani Kitandes, she paraiso de Yote State Alive, Mire Sanga, Chusinis Chata Sodes. She burn your medatsno, Kinira Night, Mio Sugoi came back the Oidasta to Ka. Skena, I t s k a r i n i m o Negai k a n a e r e t a I t a その人オスティナートの学士ですよだとしたらその告知は僕たちをおびき出すための罠じゃないのか違うと思いますよその人自分をアピールするのが好きなんですわざわざミュウがどこにいるか教えてくれるとはよーしそれじゃあゲリラライブにみんなで飛び入りさんIs that it? Should be it for the chapter. Oh no, more cutscene. This is the song from the third dungeon.
Is it going to have the lyrics? Nope. It's the instrumental version. これだけのデジヘッドを前にしてニューを捕まえに行くのは自殺行為ですね。ライブが終わるまでは大人しく待つしかなさそうね。ニュー。あいつは濃いけど。Yeah, this is guy is uh, definitely one of the bosses, I believe. I've seen art of him. お前のクラスメートだった。そんな身近に学士がいるとはな。通りで少年ドールの居場所を知っていたわけだ。え、あの格好変じゃない。鈴野ちゃんはああいうのあり？え、あ、あの、あんまり。そう？そんなに変？私全然ありだけどな。Oh, yeah, she's got magic powers. Why wouldn't she? Gonna fly off. Live a feeling that's gonna happen no matter what. よくわかんないけど、ミュウにライブをさせるのは危険ってことだな。帰る方法を聞き出す前にどうにかなられては困るな。とにかくあと思いましょう。ミュウの行き先ならまっかせといて。今のライブの話題がひっきりなしに流れ
お前も帰宅部に入ったのかどこまでも気に食わないやつだなニューが一緒のはずだどこにいる駅前から追ってきたんだ一緒にいるのは分かってんだぞへえさっきのライブにいたのかどうだったよ皆さん俺の人気にビビったろお前がどんだけ顔に自信があるか知らねえが俺はお前より少年も腐ってなければお前よりはるかに持ってるからな何が言いたいんだこいつ伊豆る先輩より自分の方がすごいってことじゃないですかねどう見ても人気だったのはミュウですけどかなり恨まれてるらしいなあいつに何かしたのかいやそれから帰宅部お前らだよそいつの透かした顔を見ないで済むように少年ドールのことを教えたのに余計なことしやがって、はあ、お前もこの顔がそんなに気に入らないのかそれとも欲しいのか欲しければいつでもくれてやるお前の顔と交換させてやるからミュウに合わせろうわすんごいセリフ普通自分の顔交換してやるなんて言わねえよなこいつら顔に対して何かあんのかバカにしやがってお前のそういう無神経な態度が気に入らねえんだよ無神経だとミュウに会いたきゃ自力で来てみやがれお前に傷つけられた人間の恨みを思い知らせてやる。Oh, please don't make me fight immediately. I guess so. Level 19. There's two of them, though, so it's not a guaranteed victory. Kind of bullshit that they'd make you do this without saving between the last boss fight and now. Not exactly great game design. It's like, what if you died on this fight? Well, you'd have to do the last boss fight over again. Alright, one down. Are we still poisoned from the boss fight? Jesus. I don't think they did that to me. I can finally save after this. Yep, I'm gonna have to progress through this area again. That's super lazy. Any ideas? No clue. Shouldn't he be in here somewhere? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He mu oh, I know exactly where he is. The dungeon they're going to make me crawl through is the area that I grinded to get super huge because I found it by just coincidence. 
and at the end of that area was a like walkway that I couldn't go to yet because it was closed or whatever. So first, let's go to the entrance. I'm all poisoned. I think it wears off eventually though, no big deal. So we have some character episodes available. What I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to raise affinity with uh, all the party members as much as I can before. Usually like it hits a wall, like you can't progress any further. So I'll do that off camera so that the next time we stream, we can just knock out a bunch of these character episodes and then go into that optional dungeon area. Heck, I might even just like work my way to the end of it because I know that there's like nothing uh, between me and that area I haven't been to. It's just enemies. There's like no items. There's no, there shouldn't be any puzzles. It's just like a straight shoot. So it should be a really quick run. So I'll do all that off camera and we'll pick up there on the next stream. I'll also check out the one little area in the last dungeon that they wouldn't let us go to. I bet I can go to it now. It's probably just going to be another like, here's a bunch of strong enemies for you to try to fight against. Probably nothing important. So I'll leave here for tonight. So have a good late night or maybe early morning or afternoon, wherever the heck you live. Enjoy your, I guess, Thursday now it is. And I will probably pick up tomorrow night, hopefully. Assuming I get to do all that off-screen stuff I was talking about tomorrow afternoon, then I will pick up tomorrow night around the same time, which is probably going to be around midnight Eastern. I really like the, uh, the feel of doing these late night things during the summer. It fits into my schedule much better and it feels good. I like the turnout that we had. So you guys have a good night. That calls it for uh, for me. I'm just going to turn down the game sound a little bit here, and I'll put back on the soundtrack and lead us out for the evening. There we go. Turn that off and switch over to our splash screen, and then I'll pick up the soundtrack. You guys have a good night.